Hey, this is Sam from Corby Illustrations, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics. Today is day one. Uh, this challenge, for those that do not know, was started by Kevin Cross. Basically, you have to spend at least 30 minutes a day working on your personal comic project every day for 100 days straight. Uh, this is my first go-around with 100 Days of com Making Comics. All right, let's do a uh, small preview of what uh, my comic project is. I'll go over it in a short detail for you guys, and... Uh, then I'll show you what I've got done so far for the idea, and um, we'll go from there. Uh, basically, I'd say for the past four to six months, I've been trying to think of an idea to do the 100 days of making comics. Um, I've been wanting to do a comics project, but every idea that I seem to come up with that um, was semi-decent or uh, you know, a good idea, it really wasn't a project that I could see myself working on for a long time or long term. Um, and I really do want to do, like, a longer-term kind of book, like, four or five issues, something like a graphic novel. So, I didn't want to start an idea and then not finish it, because um, I think that would make me more mad than than not starting at all, is uh, starting an idea and not finishing it. Um, but anyway, I have uh, came up with this idea, and it's not 100% me, but I know that it's a good idea to where I will keep working on it. And honestly, I just can't procrastinate anymore. I really uh, want to get started working on something. Um, so basically is a uh, guy wakes up in a cryogenics lab about 150 years in the future. Uh, obviously freaks out um, and runs from the lab because who wouldn't if you woke up in a cryogenics lab not know what goes on. Um, he makes it pretty far outside of the lab um, considering that they all have futuristic technology. Um, he makes it to the outside and then they trap him with like a force field. He doesn't know how to deal with that because obviously uh, dealing with right now, we don't have force field, so how do you deal with that? Um, they take him in and they let him know that uh, he was part of a special mission for um, the military. Uh, back in the days of now, he was part of the military. He was part of the Eagle Force, which is basically like a top secret force that's above Delta Force. It's Black Ops. No one knows about it. It is... A very well kept secret. So he uh, was basically told that he'd go on a mission and it was top secret and he would be told the information when he needed to know it. Um, he went home and told his family that he'd be gone on a mission for about two to four weeks like the army told him and then he came back and they gave him an injection saying he needed to be um, inoculated for where he was going which basically just knocked him out and then he was cryogenically frozen. Um, so basically, we're going to go through a journey of him trying to deal with the fact that uh, his mission somehow made him frozen, and now 150 years has passed. Uh, his family that he did know, as far as he knows, after 150 years, they are gone. You know, his wife and his two kids. Um, and he has to deal with that and the trials of that. So that's uh, where it starts off at. I'm not really going to go into much more. Because I do want uh, stuff to be a surprise for you guys. So um, that's basically the gist of it. A uh, guy goes on a mission for a top secret organization. Gets frozen for 150 years. Wakes up. No one seems to know why. The reason why. And the only thing that they are telling him is that the notes say that he'll be told whenever he needs to be told. The the mission. And so that's uh, where the book will end up. Alright. Uh, so far what I have for my story... I uh, have done with the story is uh, I have a notebook here that I wrote down the synopsis and a summary of the story. All right, as you guys can see, uh, this is the work that I have done so far for the story. Um, and it really isn't all that much. It's in a, in a notebook. Uh, these are names for characters. Uh, That's a mind map for the main character. Uh, just some notes and ideas there. Um, and then there's a short synopsis for each book, um, so I know where the story is going and how to pace it out. I will basically be writing in this today, uh, elaborating on what the first book will be, like more so of what page one will entail, what page two will entail. Um, I like to do small short things like that and then work my way out and then I will start on the computer with the script. I have a small notebook, or a sketchbook, I should, sorry I should say. Um, you can buy these at the Walmarts for about a buck fifty-seven. Um, they're not in the art section of Walmart. They are in like the kids section where you'd find crayons and things for kids. 
Um, they have sketchbooks over there, and these right here are super cheap, and they're not bad for being as cheap as they are. Um, so yeah, I'll be putting my sketches of characters and everything that's related to the book in here for things that I need to it. Mostly, I'll probably be doing most of this while I'm at work. Um, I work a transportation job where I schedule, uh, I'm a scheduler, and uh, I need to take breaks <laughs> every once in a while because I stare at a computer screen for about 8 to 10 hours. Uh, so my breaks, my short breaks, every, I'd say, 10 to 20 minutes, I'll draw a little bit in my notebook. So I'll probably have this filled up with a lot of ideas um, throughout the days while I'm at work. Um, and then whenever I come home, I spend time with the family, and then uh, after everyone goes to sleep, so probably around like 11.30ish, um, I come down to my art desk and I will work more on the story, write the story, do whatever I need to do for the 100 days. Um, so yeah, I plan on definitely doing more than half an hour a day, uh, but I will do at least a half an hour every day. Um, Alright, I'm going to start... For the first day, I'm basically just going to be uh, doing the synopsis for book one uh, and breaking it down more to a page-by-page -page basis and what happens in each page and figuring out what characters that I need to get names for and or uh, what they look like so I can do that in my sketchbook whenever I have free time. Alright, um, that's my 30 minutes. Uh, I got about 15 pages done of uh, short synopsis for each page, uh, which I feel is pretty good for only doing about 30 minutes. I plan on doing more than 30 minutes a day, usually, because I have about two hours every night that I get to work on my art. Uh, so I plan on putting more than 30 minutes a night in. Just so happens that tonight, that's all the time that I can afford. Um, it's okay, good first day. Um, I will be back again tomorrow with, uh, with more. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.